Welcome back to Land a House. I'm here at the Narrow Way Vineyard with my friend James. Hello. We're going to be installing a one inch ram pump to water the vineyard at the top of his hill. So let's get started. To start off, we're going to be using a screened intake that will hopefully filter out any leaves and other debris. So I have a three inch PVC pipe with a large window cut on top and just a bunch of holes drilled underneath. Got a couple of three inch caps and a one inch pipe with more holes here. And this is gonna be installed inside with the help of some one inch unisills that will be on this cap here. But to get a one inch pipe into a unisill, I need to take a file and just file down the edge here of the one inch pipe. The one inch unisill requires a one and three quarter inch hole saw. Now sadly I used this to cut through some hardy board siding and so it's incredibly dull. But hopefully it's going to work today. We're using screen over this three inch pipe to keep out the debris from entering into the intake. We have the screen on the three inch pipe and here is the one inch pipe and the hole is now in the cap. I'm going to be sticking this unisill on the inside of this cap here and I have filed down the edge of this one inch pipe and this is going to be going through the inside of the cap here. There we go. Now to finish up the intake here, I'm just going to stick the cap on the end of the pipe. We're not gluing this so that it can be uh, cleaned out later if need be. And that is the finished screened intake. After the water comes into the screened intake, it's going to travel down a fairly short supply line into a bucket. This bucket is gonna act as a standpipe, but also act as a secondary silt filter. So we're gonna be using Unisil to feed the bucket and also take out from the bucket as the ram pump source. And we're gonna have uh, about six inches or so of room so that silt and sediment can build up before it starts affecting the pump. And uh, later on we'll be installing a clean out so that we never have to actually move the bucket. So once again, I'm going to use the hole saw to put a one and three quarter inch hole up towards the top. This thing is so dull. <laughs> this will be the intake from the screened intake that'll be up the creek. I'm gonna flip this over because the ram pump's gonna come out of this side. I'm gonna put another hole slightly lower than the previous one. The screened intake has been inserted here into the water, running parallel with the creek. And of course, this needs to be the lowest end right here. So far, it seems to be working well. Let me show you the amount of water that it's pulling. Here is the output from the screened intake. Seems to be flowing quite nice. The ram pump requires one of these threaded mail to socket adapters and it just goes on to the end of the ball valve here. I'd like to take a minute to say that landahouse.com has four different size ram pumps available for sale. Okay, I've filed off the end of this one inch pipe and it's time to get it into the unisil on the top of the bucket. I'm going to use some soap and water to help get this pipe where it needs to be. Okay, there we go. Time to set this down into the water. We need a rock or something under that. Um, we'll keep it level. It doesn't matter. 
Maybe good for now. So for the delivery pipe, we're using a half inch poly pipe with a barb on the end of the ball valve. And to make sure this doesn't come loose, we have a hose clamp to tighten around that barb fitting. The ram pump is just over this little hill and has 300 feet of delivery pipe. Now I know scale is a little bit hard to show on the camera, but this hill goes up close to 50 feet. So let me walk up here and we will see if the pump has reached the top. It's turned out to be quite a humid day. We tested the pump at this point and we had a good steady stream of water coming out. Feels heavy there. I don't know about that spot. Yeah, I got it. We got it! <laughs> That's incredible. And honestly, that flow rate, you could probably go another bit up the hill. Just about right here? Yep. You know what? Put it up there like that? I didn't start a timer. Oh. <laughs> so, on your mark, get set, go. All right, let's call that. Uh, 45 seconds. Let me show you the final setup here. We have the screened intake set quite nice here. Totally submerged. One inch pipe comes out. Travels down the creek and feeds into the bucket. As you can see, it's overflowing quite nice here. Now the reason the bucket is used is two part. It provides a constant steady source of water for the ram pump, so it's never gonna be gulping any air. It also is able to catch silt and sediment as it pours out from the intake. So we have somewhere around six inches or more of potential before this is going to be stopping the ram pump. 80 feet of 
one inch PVC is laying in the creek. This pipe is flexible enough that it can be snaked around some of the rocks and other obstacles. Now we only had enough pipe to reach this point here. And as you can see, it's highly inefficient to have the pump leaning over in both this direction and forward. So later on, it will be moved further down the creek into a more permanent location. But it is clicking away here. And then it travels up 300 feet of poly pipe and goes all the way up to the top of the hill. Way up here. I hope you have enjoyed this ram pump install. It's probably the first time I have done a, a full one day install from intake to delivery at the top. And uh, I'm glad that it turned out so well. Now there are a few things that we're going to change. Um, adding another 20 to 40 feet of drive pipe and that will get the pump in a better location. With the current tilt that's going on, the pump is closing with less force than it would if it were sitting upright. And uh, that will increase the flow rate at the top. And adding that extra 20 to 40 feet will also gain another foot or two feet of head pressure. So we're expecting to see somewhere around 300 gallons in a day at the top of this 50 foot hill. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to check out the Narrow Way Vineyard, I have the Facebook link in the description down below. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.